Hey, hey, YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with another affordable makeup and beauty haul video. This time it is with Juno & Co. Um, I don't know where I heard about this company. I think it was Instagram. I'm forever on Instagram. My break time at work, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> like, before I go to sleep at night, I'm on Instagram. So, um, this is the package that I received um, from Juno. I purchased um, a good amount of stuff that I wanted to go ahead and play around with. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. A lot of the things that I received came in one of these um, little <sighs> package containers. They're like little protective sleeves. I like that little touch because everything wasn't bumping and popping around in the package in the container. So it kind of protected um, my products. Uh, the first thing we are going to talk about is this is a, I want to say a lip gloss. It says that it is a matte lipstick, but I don't know what this is a dupe for. I know I seen it on Instagram, um, on YouTube years ago, but I never knew what this was a dupe for. But it is one of those uh, lipsticks with the little flower in the inside. Um, I may have paid a dollar or two for this. Everything that I'm, we're, we're talking affordable stuff here. So I'm just going to let you know. I don't remember the prices, but trust and believe it was affordable. Um, so I did try it. It did have like a little sip to it. It smells like, like juices and berries and honey and creamy sweet goodness. <laughs> the one that I got is the 05... Mm, pretty much just is 05 Cosmetics. So this is the one that I got. It's really cute. So I'm going to keep it like in my purse. I, in the winter time, I actually wear lip glosses and lip glass and lip lacquers more than I wear liquid lipsticks or anything else. So, and I wear lots and lots and lots of chapstick. So that will go in like my chapstick bin and... <laughs> I will be using that in the winter. Did I say summer? I meant to say winter. Sorry. Um, moving on. I saw these two dupes for, I want to say they're Kylie Cosmetics because the packaging looks like hers. So here is the packaging and what it looks like. And then you get the little, the sleeve and everything that it came in. It looks like a Kylie Cosmetics dupe. These are from Okylan. The shade Pure Hollywood. I thought Pure Hollywood was an Anastasia Beverly Hills name. Um, it was really popular. So yeah, yeah, it was one of hers. But um, it's in the Kylie type of packaging. Here it is. And it's a really, really pretty color. The other shade that I got is called... No, this one is Pure Hollywood. Sorry. This one is Pure Hollywood. And the other one is called Ashton right? Like I'm not looking at the packaging. I just remember what I ordered. So Pure Hollywood is the lighter one and Ashton is the darker one. So I've tried them. I've swatched them. I mean, I wore them on my lips and they're pretty colors. I don't know if they're dupes. I'm gonna have to see what I have. I have some Kylie. I don't really have Anastasia. Um, Beverly Hills one, they, they, um, crackle on my lips so they the formulation actually doesn't really work um too much for me and my lips so i don't have anything to test it against so there is that and i have been sponge girl crazy so i have been loving trying different sponges that are similar to the beauty blender so i picked up these sponges from juno and co and I really wanted this one because of the slant that it has. And I... Oh, it feels like velvet. Wait a minute. Okay. You can kind of like see the furriness. Like on the, you see that? It, they feel like velvet. That is so strange. I can't wait to wet it and see if it expands. I'll try it in a video so you guys can see. Like, it feels like velvet. Well, the reason I purchased it was because um, when I put my 
I don't want to say bake because I don't really bake. But when I set underneath my eyes and stuff, having that flat surface and then this, this flat pointer part going against my nose, I love it. But I'm just so, oh my God, it's like velvet. Oh my God. What? For real? For, for real? For real, you guys? Look. That's so strange. So I'm going to put this out because I want to test that like immediately. So um, I'm lucky that I purchased two more. I don't remember how much. Like, is the receipt in here? I don't think so. I think I took it out already. Like, they must have been like two or three dollars. They didn't. Oh, I hope I love them. I'm super excited about it. I, I, like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I hope I love them. Like, for real, for real. Okay, next um, up is a brush cleaner or sponge cleaner. Um, it reminds me of the Sigma ones where, you know, you clean brushes, put a little shampoo and stuff right there. And this one, it, yeah, I can just go like that and clean my brushes. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All the different ridges and stuff on it. Nice, nice, nice. And almost finished. Okay, so these are their brushes. Oh, yes. I love affordable brushes. So being able to find affordable brushes just has been like a mission for me these past couple of months. Um, I've tried brushes from other more affordable brands. And some of them are hit, some of them are misses. So I want to go ahead and test these out. These are, this is the foundation brush. And yeah, not, not too soft. Right amount of firmness. That's great. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, that one feels great. I'm trying to see, okay, they are numbers on it. This is the ES03. Okay, yeah. This is going to be my bronzer brush, <laughs> maybe even some blush, bronzer blush. Oh yeah, I'm like my okay. This is highlight. This is my fan highlight and duster. So I'm gonna dust off product, I can dust it, and then I can highlight. So yes, okay, right amount, I can bend it. Yes, nice. And this is the ES04 brush. Ooh. This is soft. That's real soft. Almost too soft, but not too soft. Almost. Okay, this is a powder brush. This is the ES02. So this is going to be a powder brush. I put powder right here. This is my foundation powder. Everything else is like liquid. So this is my found I can use that there. Oh, yes. ESO2. Oh, oh, oh nice and this oh contour <laughs> this is the contour brush this is the es05 yeah look at that yeah uh-huh yeah <laughs> i'm so goofy i know um so yeah oh okay all right uh-huh i see you uh-huh i see you all right and then lastly is this is an oh this is an eyeshadow brush this is the es06 this how we know i'm using this is the one that you wet this is the one that you wet and apply metallic oh yes this is the one that you wet and apply metallic shadows and stuff with oh uh-huh yeah yeah that's that's yeah that's how i'm gonna use it okay so yeah that's this brush right here Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that pretty much completes my haul. Like, I'm excited about everything. I'm super excited about that sponge. Um, the Okylan Liquid Lippies, the dupes. Okylan and Bad Habit and Beauty Creations are pretty good brands, like, when you trust, when you want dupes. So, yeah. If you see that Juno & Co. has... Kylan products that you want to try or, or get or purchase just trust it's going to be worth it just go ahead and go to Juno and go and pick it up um also I like the brushes I, I like everything that I got the only one that is it's just average is probably be the lipstick because this is like a chapstick for me so I may have spent a dollar on this so it's worth it but 
I'm not super excited about it, but it's cute. It smells like sugary goodness. So that's great. Um, so yeah, that concludes my affordable um, haul from Juno & Co. I will include all of the information in the description box. I hope that you guys are liking that I'm finding alternatives and different affordable companies and brands that you guys can purchase from. Um, and so this may have been like my sixth affordable haul video that I have uploaded for you guys this year and I hope you guys really appreciate it. I, I'm doing my work. The customer service, um, that, well the shipping service that I received from Juno & Co was great. I received it within a week and a half which is, is pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, the website, it's cute, it's streamlined but it looks like it's, this is a starter up company. Hopefully they will be able to come out with more uh, products. They have their own Juno & Co. I believe that the the, the sponge is a Juno & Co brand, brand and the brushes are as well. So hopefully they will be able to expand. Um, I like the feel of the brushes. I really do. I really do. I'm sitting here rubbing it and playing and looking at it right now. I really do like the feel of the brushes. The sponge, I can't wait to play in it. So um, look for that in an upcoming video because I really cannot wait to play in it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul video from Juno & Co. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.